breaking news, ESPN Dolphins reporter Marcel Louis Jacques has confirmed that the Dolphins have agreed to terms with whiteout Odell Beckham Jr. Back to throw Sua. Down Phil. Touchdown, Odell Beckham. OBJ goes all the way. Touchdown, Odell Beckham Jr. Yeah, OBJ has a new home. He's now a Miami Dolphin. More on that throughout our show today. Our NFL insider Jeremy Fowler is here. Lots of news to get to. You'll tell us a little bit more about OBJ. Glad to have you, Jeremy. Mina Kimes as well. And let's roll, guys. we got a lot to get to. Let's start with Tua Tungavailoa and company having added a veteran weapon to that Miami, Miami offense that at times last season was the talk of the league, right? Odell Beckham Jr. agreeing to a one-year $3 million deal, but it has incentives that can push it up to $8.25 million a source told our Marcel Louis Jacques, our Dolphins reporter, Beckham only had 35 receptions last season, his fewest in any season of his career, excluding two injury-shortened seasons. However, OBJ showed that he's still a big play threat as he averaged more than 16 yards per reception, making him one of only seven players to average at least 16 yards per catch. You can sort of see what his role could be in that Dolphins offense, but Jeremy, how did all this come together? Well, Miami has been talking to Odell Beckham for weeks now. They've been trying to secure this deal. Incentive package helped to get over the mm. top here this week. But I was told that Odell is really intrigued by the chance of producer Mike McDaniel. He believes that that head coach will get him the ball. Coming off of the Baltimore year, less than 600 yards, he still has a lot to prove. And talking to people around the league, they believe that if Beckham would embrace being an inside receiver, like a slot receiver mm. type, he could make a killing in this offense. I was told Kansas City, he was a, that was appealing to Beckham in the process. Buffalo a little bit as well. But Miami sold him. They were the most persistent throughout this process to get it done. Mina, you like the fit? You see him in the slot? How does he fit in this Miami offense? Well, first, I certainly like it at this price. It's low risk, high upside, three million up to eight and point two five. That's not a lot of money to spend on your wide receiver three. And, and a wide receiver three is really what this offense has been looking for. Um, it gives them an answer when defenses allocate extra attention as they so often do to Tyreek Hill, Jalen Waddle. Dolphins face a lot of too high coverage, so there's room for that third receiver to work inside and underneath and get yards after the catch. And while Odell Beckham Jr. is not, you know, 2014-15 Odell Beckham Jr., He's still a productive wide receiver who is very useful on third down. You saw that in Baltimore, has a low drop rate, and actually still ranks uh, amongst the top receivers in the NFL in terms of production on slants, which is, I think, the mm. route that we most associate with him. So it's very easy for me to imagine him being an effective number three in this Dolphins offense. If you think about the one and two, you know, respectively, Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle that they already have, and then, of course, OBJ is the three, Mina, what does he do that's maybe a little bit different than those two in what he would bring to the table as a skill set? Yeah, well, I think it is those yards after the catch. Which is to say that uh, Waddle and Hill aren't capable of that. They certainly are, but uh, they ask them so often to run downfield, and that creates so much space underneath. It's why tight end is also, I think, a piece that's been missing in this offense. And for me, it's less about sort of the lack of – skills on the part of the other receivers who are obviously amazing, but rather the opportunities that their unique skill set, their speed opens up. Uh, so often watching this offense, you know, you felt like, okay, if Tyreek Hill is downhill and if Jalen Waddell is being double covered, who is the third yeah. option? Because somebody is going to have much easier matchups and it could be Odell Beckham Jr. And we saw Tua Tungavailoa have so much success at times last season when the answers were clear and he could make those decisions really quickly. This feels like another answer to those tests he may be facing. And by the way, uh,